Okay, so now I have the data more easy to visualize because I can scroll around it without worrying about losing stuff. I need to do something with it, and I'd like to draw a picture. I'd like to show you a picture of how these recycling bits of data are changing over time. And to do that, I need to select the data I want to show you. Now, selecting all of it is just going to lead to a confusing thing. So I'm going to choose some examples of countries that exemplify some of the problems you may run into when trying to show pictures of your data or graphics, otherwise known as graphs. I'm going to draw a time series because I've got a lot of data that changes over time. There are the years, so I need to select these times. I'm going to have done that by clicking on row 5, clicking on the number there, not on just on the box. So row 5. I'd also like to include Austria in my data. If I click on Austria row, though, I lose the previous selection. So click on row 5 for the years, hold down control and click on Austria, and I've got that row selected too. So I'm just going to do that for the other countries I want to have in my mix. I'm going to put Estonia in there for reasons which will become obvious later. I'm going to put Germany because I know there are high flyers on the recycling game. Korea is going to end up as a nice comparison. And I'm also going to include the United Kingdom and the United States. I live in the UK and it's always scary to compare ourselves with the United States. Having selected that data I need to tell it to draw a picture or a graph and that is found on the insert tab because we're going to insert a graph. Uh, there are lots of confusing options in your graphic options here. We're just there's that's to explore later on, but for now I'm just going to click on this one because it's a line graph and if you hover over these things it tells you why you might want to use them and this says use this chart type to show trends over time. Excellent, that's exactly what I want. If you click it, you get more options. I'm just going to choose the first one for now. Uh, we'll deal with the other options. We're going to have to deal with the other options, but for now let's just click on this. And it has popped a little box with a chart on my screen. Uh, I can drag this around. Notice there's a line across it. If, I, if it's across this freeze panes business and you start scrolling around, some weird stuff happens. For example, if I go sideways, half my graph is missing. It is possible to lose your graph if you're not careful, so just bear in mind that you might have to scroll around to find it again. I'm going to leave it over here so I can see what's going on. The chart has arrived. There are many problems with this chart. We're going to have to deal with cleaning up the data to sort out these problems, but at least we now know how to get the chart there. This is a time series graph, and let's tackle the problems with this graph in another video.